Ho! Dear Hoof Hikers, we are back. We are in North Wales. Back once again. And the weather. So far so good. So far so good. It hasn't disappointed us. This is Aaron Benlin. Probably have butchered that. But I'll check the name on the screen. Also, we started at a little village just on the bottom. The name is on the screen as well. And uh, as you guys can see, we are packing heavy this time. So the plan is we're going to be staying overnight. So let's have a look. This is another one of those not really well known peaks mountains, hills, in Wales. But from the pictures that I've seen, it's meant to be stupendous. It's a lot of hills, but we'll make it. We'll get some shots. Catch you guys all the way up there. Having a look at the map, this, it's not a very long trip, it's not a very long hike, but first leg of the journey, it's, it's about 10k, so we started down there, somewhere in the bottom, and we are going, a look at the camera, somewhere in that hill, mountain, cliff, whatever you want to call it, that will be our end point. So it might not be challenging for many of the experienced hikers, those young people, <laughs> but for us, I mean, this will be definitely our little Everest. So it is very cloudy. Looking at the weather, it doesn't look like it's gonna to rain today, but there's a 70% chance of rain tomorrow. So we might get some rain in the night. It's a good thing we packed a weatherproof gear. I am still wearing shorts. <laughs> She's still wearing shorts. <laughs> so As always. our boots are gonna get wet if it does rain. But you know, if you're out and about and it's rainy, you're gonna get wet somehow. We might as well enjoy it whilst we're here. Valleys just across that side. It's absolutely amazing. And just up there, it's a lot of clouds, but I gotta tell you, Wales, I mean, we just started. We've been on it for what, 30 minutes? Yeah, not even that. And I gotta tell you, it doesn't disappoint. It does not disappoint. We left stupid early in the morning, very, very early to try to get here at a reasonable time. But we parked on the street. It, it was weird because it was about what nine o'clock. When you park, yeah. Yeah, but nine o'clock in the morning, and it feels like a Sunday. It feels like a Sunday, five o'clock in the morning. I know it's a small town. It's a small village. I mean, we do live in a small village ourselves, but it's weary. <laughs> you got. Some food, some snacks, some water, and the ground is wet. Ah, hey ho, it's part of the experience. By the way, by the way, 95 subscribers. Thank you guys. Thank you ever so much. I mean, <laughs> guys, if it wasn't for you, uh, I mean, we, we're five subscribers away from reaching or goal for September, which is 100 subscribers. Uh, thank you ever so much. You guys have been absolutely amazing and I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Again, if you guys don't know, if you guys don't wanna hear me talking, that's fine. Uh, there's always another video, which is just music. I do talk a little bit, 
but it's much much shorter usually four to five minutes sometimes less and it's just music it's none of this blabbing so if you guys want to see that yeah keep an eye out but yeah let's go because uh we got a long way to go all right I was gonna go <laughs> straight that way but I remember our last trip in Wales I've made the same mistake it is very saturated here and just there it's almost like a bog yeah that didn't do my boots any good <laughs> the other one <laughs> oh god <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be great. Uh, I have a feeling this is gonna be great. But yeah, look at that. Honestly. If you want to make the journey here, where well, we parked a car, it's off street parking, hopefully it will be okay. I'll let you guys know at the end of the video or at some other time. But I hope it's going to be okay. Also, it's 10k that way, 12k back. That's not bad. That's not bad. And I know you guys are here looking at me in a pasture, sheep all around, grass, wetness. But let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. All right, let's go. Let's go. Look at that, the sun is coming out. <laughs> and if you haven't noticed, I've lost another top. Started with three. Hopefully by the time we get up to the top, I'll still have clothes on. But anyway, we came from a tiny little village somewhere there. And been up and over that hill multiple times, there's that reservoir or lake uh, i'm sure you guys will know don't ask me i never know anything <laughs> but the sun is coming out and that's the most important thing so far it's been great we have been taking our time we got plenty of time this time look at the sun ah there the sun's coming out but yeah I can see the top. I'll let you guys know the elevation once uh, we get there. It is nice and hot. <laughs> so do you think it's hot? I think we are hot, but I don't think it's hot outside though. It's nice and warm about what, 18 maybe? Yeah, probably 18, 20. But it is really pleasant. We're in shorts, just the top, some boots. No gators. Never wearing the gators. Yeah, it's because we don't have them. Yeah. Well, yes, but I can always buy it. <laughs> Make a good executive decision. Buy ourselves some gators. But then, what would be the fun? Have our sheens absolutely destroyed. It's all part of it, all part of it. I can see the summit. Let's get up there and oh god, sun's coming out. Oh, excited, excited, excited. It looks good, it looks good. All right, let's do it. So, we're going up there. So, we stopped for a little break. Notice a single but a Christmas tree. 
no other vegetation as high as that tree, which is quite interesting. Also, it's the second time here, but the vegetation on the ground is very similar to the vegetation at the Jurassic Coast and your forest. We're miles away from it, but it's all this very low vegetation, nothing as high as that tree. Also, I'll put it on the screen, but we're gonna go through a series of peaks and we're gonna go past Aaron Bel Benlin. And the highest one is 900 meters. I'll put it in feet as well, so you guys know. We're catching this side of this hill. Some of them, are, we're not going all the way to the top, but some of them we are. So we decided to have a little picnic here, get our energies back, and then we know what's coming. We got plenty of time, or we are honestly taking our time. We're not in a hurry. We're gonna be here for a little while, so might as well enjoy it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it as well. See you guys up there. Bit of a discovery. That mount, that hill, right up there somewhere. Can we see from here? That's not the one that we're, we're going to. That one is actually 683 meters, I think. I just looked at a map. The one that we want to go to is 905. There's that one and three more. And we want the fourth one. So hopefully it would be quite a spectacular view. We haven't seen the left side of this mountain, so to say. But here on the right hand side, quite boggy. Have the view of the valley just below us. A couple of villages, nice forest, and it looks spectacular, it really does. But according to my Bing searches, the peak that we're gonna go to, the view from there, overlooking the left, it's meant to be stupendous. Fingers crossed, that's what we get. And uh, uh, yeah, fourth peak, three more to go. Let's go. Number one, just to our left. We're not gonna go peak it, but 603 meters. So yeah, not bad, not bad. I think as we're going up, we're getting to the highest points we've ever hiked, starting from uh, the one just below us, I think it was just over 500 meters. But yeah, next one, next one. And there's the next challenge of the day. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it looks terrible. It doesn't look bad, it looks terrible. <laughs> uh, one can only cry, pray, and hope for the best. Yeah, <laughs> That's, that doesn't even have a name. That's just an uphill. <laughs> All right. This is the one that I've been banging on the entire time since we started the video. That this is where we were gonna go. And this is the highest peak. Well, it's not. Never believe what I say. Don't trust me on anything. But trust me, I know what I'm saying. All right, let's go. Here's a busy. Easy peasy. Yeah. Haven't even broken sweat. Oh, perfect. And this is the easy part. <laughs> All right. That is very steep. Yeah, you can definitely say that's pretty quite steep. That is very steep. Just there, 
somewhere there down on the bottom that's where we were we are now up on one of the big ridges uh, it's not the tallest but I think this is probably going to look awesome astonishing mountains rocks formation I mean it just it's breathtaking it's breathtaking oh what do we have what do we have let's find an easy way to go up here wow Tell me, tell me that's not something. That is incredible, absolutely incredible. That's just amazing. Look at the valley. Jesus. And that, that is stunning. <laughs> we still got another two or three to go. But we'll have another look. We'll have another look. We have to have another look. Breathtaking. This has to be a hidden gem. Honestly, it does. We got a uh, little lake just ahead of us. But we are still going up and up and up and up this is not the highest by far <sighs> that is just absolutely absolutely stunning <laughs> This is 876 meters. This is Ben, no, Aaron Benelin. Aaron Benelin. Benlin. Benlin. Be Benelin. <laughs> this is the peak we came to see. There is another one further ahead. Uh, it's the one I'm talking about, the 903. But so far, all of our hikes, this is the highest point we've ever been. So yeah. That's a stunning view. The sun is sort of just glaring through the clouds. There's lots of sheep and people. We've seen so far four people at this entire thing. Not bad, not bad. But yeah. We'll have a look at the next peak and we'll keep going. There, well, ladies and gentlemen, right up there. That's where we had it too. Put the jumper on because it was quite windy up there. Since we stopped moving, get cold quite easily. But we're heading up there. Other ones on TikTok. If you guys want to see the videos that she makes. There's links in the description below. Have a look. Give her a follow. Really good videos. Worth watching, definitely. It's just breathtaking. It's just all, all that. Honestly, it's just, yeah. This, when the sun is shining, Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, definitely, definitely beautiful. Not too bad, not too shabby, not too bad. My voice is going. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get some water. <laughs> we are not far off. 
I think we've only got about one and a half kilometer until we're at the big one. And then it's us done for today. Set up the tent, get some food going, and hopefully we'll have a good night. But yeah, big one is just up there. Looks quite scary, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Considering this is the first time we've uh, climbed multiple peaks all at once. But we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I will see. It is the end of the day. There's home. And there's the beast. Now we're gonna do that tomorrow. We're gonna leave it for the morning. I've looked on a map and a route back. It's mainly going to be downhill from here, following the valley, the bottom of the valley. It is the end of the day. We had some dinner and the view from home is absolutely spectacular. So we are still quite high up. Probably can't see me now because the sun is right behind my back. But we're nice and cozy. Nice and warm and fuzzy. There's home. And the view something to be mesmerized by it's absolutely stunning this is one of the things that we like the most about Wales is that wherever you look is just incredible and there's the view it's just the sun is setting it's been a good day we've had plenty of breaks enjoyed quite a bit I was knackered I was absolutely knackered but that's all right it's the first time we've done I think it was five peaks in a row as part of this uh, group of hills over here with the highest one being 874 I believe it was and the beast being 900 900 plus so yeah we'll see it in the morning Gonna watch that sunset and we'll see you guys in the morning. That's a good morning right there. That is a bit of a morning.
it is very cloudy. <laughs> it is quite early in the morning, but like I promised, we made it to the top. 904, 905 meters. This is officially the highest hoof hike has gone. It's sad, we can't see, but the feeling, you can tell, you're really high up. And yeah, it is quite an experience, quite an experience. That's not a view. Absolutely breathtaking, guys. With the effort. With the effort. Top of the world. Well, for us, 900 meters. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> it's cloudy, but like I said, you can definitely sense the height and how much above the earth you are. Yeah. Amazing. Breathtaking. Not too shabby. Too shabby. We have had a coffee. We're gonna have some biscuits for breakfast. Then we're gonna start heading down the hill, which is probably the most fun we're gonna have today. Yeah, let's just try to remember a way down. I mean, hopefully, not rolling down, but a way down. See you guys down on the bottom. We're gonna pick up our stuff and then. Me guys, as we're going down. There we are, all packed, ready to go. Leave no trace behind, as always. So yeah, let's start heading down the hill. Concerning. It feels like we're gonna go to the end of the cliff and fall. So we are being careful. We're keeping an eye on. Uh, got a friend up there. So if you guys look at the hills just to our right, it seems like it's being pebble dashed with these white rocks. Now the other half believes. It's probably due to erosion where the rocks are sort of just sticking out. If you guys know what causes that, leave us a comment down below. Let us know because for us it's quite a unique site. Uh, I bet it's probably everywhere, but for us it's the first time seeing it in such a scale. So, yeah, let us know. I know what it is. Those are graves. All those people who died in here because they didn't know how to climb. If we get closer, we can see their names written on the rock. That's what it is. So this place is very dangerous. So if you are not experienced, hiker or climber, do not come here. <laughs> And there's your threat. If you're not experienced, which we're not, if you're not a climber, which we're not, don't come here. <laughs> Those are graves of unsuccessful hikers. 
Very colorful, very colorful. I like that, I like that. If you guys think it's something else, yeah, by all means, let us know. <laughs> this is a nice bit of somewhat, I don't know how old this road is, but it's a road of some sort. As nice as it was to go up there, the path was very challenging. Coming back, just the same, the, the hill that we came down was super steep. So as much as we like going downhill, that one was a bit difficult. But now we're on a nice little road and we've got a couple of hours to go. Not bad, not bad. And in case you guys don't know, this is part of Snowden or Snowdonia is one of the uh, the areas covered uh, as part of the national park so yeah and I gotta say in total we've seen maybe six people and those were just day hikers going up the hill going up to that peak and then coming back down other than that just a bunch of sheep your common explorer the other half, let's crack on with it. Boots are wet, but on the plus side, it's not raining. It was meant to be 70% chance of rain today, so I had come prepared. At the moment, it's just misty, cloudy, but no rain. Fingers crossed, it will stay that way, and I will see you guys a little bit further ahead. I think we got to get out of this valley and then back into the village. So yeah, see you guys there. Pavement. Perfect. We're almost there. Give you guys a point of reference. So just on the other side of that hill there, that's where we started. We sort of went up that hill that windmill there and so we came down from in between uh, the peaks and we found this road which is a very popular busy road so now we're just making our way back to the car about one kilometer left so I'll see you guys in about five minutes or more we are done absolutely stunning was it? Breathtaking, yeah. Breathtaking. Well, Wales is just Wales amazing. never ceases, never ceases to disappoint us. It's absolutely fantastic. But guys, if you want to help us and you want to support the channel, you can do it for free. All you have to do is click that subscribe button. If you guys want to see the pictures from uh, these last couple of days, we'll post on Facebook, Instagram. There's the links down below. That's where you can find us. If you want to see the other halves, TikToks, her link is on the description. Give her a follow. Thanks for being with us. See you guys next time. Bye bye.